Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Black 2. And you find me here in the middle of Pinwheel Forest, teaming up with Cheren right now, because apparently Team Plasma have been sighted around here, so we're going to track them down. Uh, anything else to say, Cheren? Team Plasma, or better said, gets this. It's almost like, to him, there was nothing else in the world but himself. Yeah, um... Yeah, he's a crazy guy, let's put it that way. Anyway, we need to carry on exploring this area and see whether we can actually find Team Plasma. Probably a good chance they're right beyond this log, but uh, we'll see. Oh, I think they were, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's Gorm. Boo. Oh, hello. Hi. I am Gorm. I was once one of Team Plasma's seven sages. Team Plasma's finished. Despite that, you still haven't given up. Are you here planning something? Wait one moment. I have no plans to confront you. I don't mean to disappoint you, but I doubt I'm a match for either of you in the first place. Hmm, what happened to your glasses? Excuse me, but that's not important. I learned of my old ally's recklessness, and I have, and I had come here to admonish him. But the matter has already been resolved, and this place made me think. What did we believe? What did we believe in that made us try to steal the dragon skull? Oh yeah, that's right. Because it, that's why. Because in the previous Pokemon Black game, they stole the dragon skull from the Nakrain Museum, and we chased them down to I think this exact area. So, huh. how about that? A man who has committed a mistake and doesn't correct it is committing another mistake. Do you understand what this means? Avoiding all mistakes is impossible, but not fixing mistakes you've made. That is truly foolish. That being said, this doesn't really concern you, does it? Well then, trainers, may you and your Pokemon be well. Oh, well, okay, that was random. That was a bit more underwhelming than I was expecting it to be. You know, if it wasn't for Getsis, he might have chosen another path. Or maybe not, he was one who decided to follow Getsis after all. That aside, thank you. Your help made this investigation go smoothly. This is my thanks. Come on, just take it. Uh, an upgrade. Alright, cool. Fair enough. Probably won't use it, but cool. Yeah, let us, Sharon. Okay, yeah, so as it turns out, I was pretty much near the end of that quest line anyway, so I probably should have just done that in the last episode, but... Eh, uh, you know what? It turned out to be rather underwhelming anyway, so I think... Well, we'll just spend the rest of this episode checking out the rest of Pinwheel Forest. Also... Another suspicious pile of grass. Is it actually someone? Oh, it actually is. Alright, fine. Still got plenty of people to battle against. And we'll go from there. Ooh, that's something I forgot to do when I went to... Oh, actually, I suppose I could do that um, after we're done with this bit. Because there was an NPC that was mentioning, like, a legendary Pokemon that was once found here. I wonder if I happen to have it with my party. Would that... Would they make a reference to that Pokemon? I wonder. But either way, we're just going to have to take care of this Munchlax. Hey, I wonder if you're going to bring out a Snorlax after this. No, a Zeb Striker. I mean, that's fine. Mm, just use Flamethrower for now. Probably not going to knock it out, but that... Oh no, I did knock it out. Alright, fair enough. That's absolutely fine by me. And you're going to finish off with Cricketune. Oh dear. Yeah, this is not going to go well, is it? <laughs> yeah, you can taunt me all you want. It's it's just going to result in your downfall there, Cricketune. Now, play us a little tune to acknowledge your defeat. There it is. Nice. <laughs> All I can do now is sigh in sorrow. <sighs> Was that good enough for you? <laughs> but I can also do this. I got a Lumberry. I mean, that's fair enough. Different Pokemon can be found in different places. Does that mean there is a perfect place for everyone? I would have thought so. Anyway, uh, what else is around here? This probably just jumps back around here. Yes, it does. 
Oh wait, oh the person was blo is no longer blocking away. Okay, well that's answered that then. Uh, I'll tell you what, now that I'm on my own, let's not use a max repel, seeing as I'd used one briefly at the end. Uh, pre well, I say briefly, I ended up using it while I was going through uh, the forest with Cheren. Apparently there's an item somewhere. Alright. Oh, here there, that's more like it. A figure off. Alright. Level 65. Wow, okay, yeah, these both want a pretty high level in this grass. Might want to be a little bit careful. Huh, and there is someone round here. Alright, fair enough. My Pokemon's strong points. You'll see if you fight. Alright, well, I guess it depends what kind of Pokemon you're going to use. Because their strong points might actually end up being, in fact, their weak points. Oh, okay, a Fampy. Alright, okay. I mean, it's only a Fampy, so not too worried about using Ambor against you, so... Oh, you're going to use Endure? Oh, you little jerk. Well, I mean, that's fine. We'll just... You know, I could probably just use Arm Thrust. Oh, you're going to use Endure again? Oh, that is really, really cheating. Although, wait. Does this count as two separate hits? Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. You... Oh, come on. That is really sad when they do that. Come on, you're already down to one hit point. Just admit defeat. There we go, finally. It's so annoying when they do that. Well, whatever, at least we took care of that. Ooh, Doduo. Okay, yes, we'll definitely switch Pokemon. And let's switch to Ampharos. Hmm, nice try, but unfortunately, Ampharos has static, so you're kind of screwed now, uh, Doduo. Doubly screwed with a somewhat powerful discharge attack there. There we go. Oh, and we're gonna keep on with the flying types, are we? And bring out a Fira. That's absolutely fine by me. Another discharge, please. Yeah. Take that, Fira. book leveling up nicely. Um, I don't know. Depends. What were your Pokemon strong points? I'm not 100% sure what I was actually trying to look out for. I don't know because there are too many. Well, I mean, I suppose that's true. But there's also potentially too many weak uh, spots as well. Also, ah, wait a minute. This looks like Ah, oh, yes, that's right. This was the clearing. Like in the previous game. Where we originally encountered Verizion. So, I wonder what's here now, then, if that's the case. Well, apart from a couple of items, let's just grab this. A sunstone, very nice. So, what's through here now? Uh, looks like just a Pokemon Ranger. Hello? This happened around when the hero appeared in Opelousa's city with the legendary dragon Pokemon. Right around here, you would hear a very sad cry, and a bright green po Pokemon would run around like the wind. I've heard it's called Verizion, and it took up against humans to protect Pokemon from a war between people. It's apparently a legendary Pokemon. Maybe it was afraid that Team Plasma's rising to power would ruin the world and its friends' home homes would be destroyed. Yeah, so, just a little reminder. By any chance, if I had Verizion with me, would you have made a reference to that? Oh, I have to wonder about that now. Especially considering there was literally nothing there, so you know what? Let me... Oh, let me put on Max Repel because I'm just gonna... Just have a quick run around here. Uh, get the dancing machine on, just in case. I think there might have been another hidden item somewhere. And I'm going to rush back to just bring back uh, Verizion, because I'm curious to see whether they make a reference if I actually have it in, in my party. Also, TM22 Solar Beam. Nice. 
kind of interesting, considering uh, my source book literally learned that uh, in the previous episode. Ooh, piece of rare candy. So a little shadow in the water there. In fact, speaking of water, let's see how far we can go along here. Um, looks like we're back to where. Oh no, it is. This is where we got to the, get the item. A PP Max. Nice. All right. Um, you know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna just quickly run back to Nacrane City, bring back Verizon because I'm curious to see whether. Uh, that ranger will make a reference to the fact that if I actually have Verizion with me. So, yeah, you know what, I'm going to see. It pro they probably won't say anything about it, but you know what, I have to try at least, so let's go back and see if anything happens. Alright, I've made it back to this spot in the forest, and as you can see, I have Verizion with me. Question is, are you going to say anything about it? I bet you won't. But I could be wrong. I've heard it's called Verizon and it took up against humans. Yep, yep, yep. It's apparently a legendary Pokemon. Well, that was disappointing. What a waste of time that was. Alright, fine. Okay, I wish I didn't bother in the first place. See, I have a Verizon and you did not care. Ah, uh, well, pointless thing of the episode done. Let's continue exploring. <laughs> Well, that was disappointing. I was hoping there might be a little bit of an Easter egg or something to say, hey, look, I've actually got Verizon with me, so, um, yeah. This is indeed a legendary Pokemon. I can show it to you, but no. Sadly, that wasn't to be. Anyway, I might as well check out this area, and yes, there is a hidden item, but, ooh. There's also a shaking patch of grass. Most likely an Aldino, unless it's another random Pokemon, but no, it is indeed an Aldino, which is absolutely fine. I will gladly take some experience points from you, if you don't mind, Ordino. There we go. Nice bit of experience points, that will do me nicely. Right, so, okay, yeah, more hidden items, more trainers to battle against. So let's battle you. Oh my, my Pokemon really seem raring to go today. So I guess that means I'll be asking you for a battle. Well, I will gladly have a battle with you. Let's see whether your Pokemon are well and truly raring to go, Catherine. Ooh, starting off with a Lunoon, eh? Okay. Alright, ooh, level 63. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're starting to get some more powerful Pokemon. Well, I mean in terms of levels, but it's just a Lunoon. And you know what? Might as well just use arm thrust. I'm not gonna constantly waste hammer on. Whoa! I mean, I shouldn't uh, be surprised. It's a little hit seeing as it has a high chance of being a crit, but still. There we go. Let me guess. Two times. Oh wow! Hey! If you could do a critical hit, so can I. Yeah. Uh, Mandibuzz. Yeah, we're definitely gonna switch Pokemon. We'll switch to Amphoros. Mandibuzz. That's that vulture-like Pokemon, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, that's absolutely fine. That's easy enough for you. Uh, and for us, okay, you just can use embargo. That's absolutely fine. I don't plan to use any items anyway until after the battle. So you can waste your time using an embargo, and you actually managed to survive that. Well done. I mean, yes, I know I'm level 61, but still, I'm surprised you survived that. But eh, whatever. One more thunder punch should be enough to take care of you, and there we go. Ooh, Toxicroak. Alright, yeah, let's switch Pokemon. Let's bring out Espeon. Toxicroak shuddered in anticipation, and that is perhaps no surprise. Especially, I was just going to use Psycho, but you know what? I reckon I can get away with a Side Beam. Oh, I totally can get away with a Side Beam. Seems my Pokemon weren't as ready as I thought. Oh, I don't know. I mean, if I used slightly different Pokemon, that would have been potentially been different. Pokemon are alive, just like you or me. So it's no wonder that they might feel down. When that happens, just let them take it easy. 
Yeah. Take it easy. <laughs> There we go. Uh, ooh, I do have some lemonade. And you know what? Let's just use the lemonade on um, Embor for now. I'll be fine. Won't fully heal you up, but that's absolutely fine. Use my last lemonade. Also, did I notice something? Yeah, apparently I do have a random potion. Yeah, as if I'm ever going to use that anywhere else nowadays. So I might as well just use that and more or less fully heal Embor. So you know what? <laughs> might as well make use of it after. Anyway, dancing machine. Let's go up. I know there's a hidden item down there, but I want to go this way. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> you spotted me just in that right time, so I have to, so you forced me to walk through that patch of grass. Just be just, just because of that, Kentaro, I'm not gonna go easy on you. Ooh, Tyro. Alright, cool. Probably best if I bring out Espeon in a bit, but for now we'll just deal with this Tyrogue. Should be no problem for Embor. Hopefully a flamethrower should be more than enough. And yeah, probably slightly overkill, but I don't care. Ah, maybe not, because that's a Scrafty. In that case then, we'll just stick with uh, Embor. Of course you decide to use Scrafty. Uh, that's fine, I'll just use Arm Frost. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, what is with all these critical hits right now? This is a little bit suspicious with the amount of critical hits I'm seeing right now. Probably should have just used a hammer on, but eh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Ah, that's more like it. Now I can switch to Espeon. Also, Makahita. Mm, Alright, cool. At least it's only a Makahita, not a Hariyama, so at least that's something. Uh, you know what? I think we might be able to get away using it. Oh, using Endure anyway. Never mind. Okay, so probably just as well I decided just to use, uh... Side Beam. Ooh, but you are confused. Well, quick attack. Oh, we, are you trying to use Endure again? I think you were, weren't you? Oh, you little jerk. Yeah, screw you. Screw you, you cheating uh, computer control player. Oh, you were going to use Endure just to pointlessly make the battle go on longer. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't work out for you. <laughs> you absolute jerk. I'm so glad that didn't work out for you. Anyway, I'm just going to take another PP Max. I found one fairly recently in the forest, so we'll gladly take another one. I test the challenge rock with my fist every day. It is important to take it uh, to take to make steady progress little by little. Ah, so that must be the challenge rock just there. So what do I do? Just punch it or something? I don't know. Okay, you also have a tyro. All right, fair enough. Again, there should be no problem for Embor. But once again, unless you're going to bring out another Scrafty, just like the other person, uh, I'll bring out uh, Espeon. And you are indeed bringing out uh, Machop. That's absolutely fine. Yep, there should be absolutely no problem for you, Espeon. And there we go. No problem at all. Ooh, Polyrath. Ooh, I have decisions, but you know what? We'll stick with Espeon. Would have brought out Amphros, but you know what? We're going to stick with uh, Espeon. And you know what? I'm not going to take any chances. Just use Psychic. Done there, Espeon. Ooh, and Sourcebook level 63. I still have not tried hard enough. So, what do you do? Do you just try and punch that rock as hard as you can or something? I test the challenge rock every day with my Pokemon. Why do you check out the challenge rock with a fighting type Pokemon? Oh, okay. Well, conveniently, I do have uh, Embor. 
Um, yeah, sure. Smash it, emblem. All right. Oh, wow. You get a piece of stardust from it? Really? Is that something you could do every day? Because if so, that's easy money. Oh, wow. Okay. That's really easy money. Oh, my. Okay. There's a hidden item. A fighting gem. That's uh, no surprise. Right, there's still a few people to battle, so let me just quickly heal up my Pokemon. I might as well just use my Hyper Potions. Definitely need to do some shopping. I did buy a few extra uh, Max Repels when I went back to uh, pick up uh, Verizion. But I obviously decided not to go for anything else, but uh, I'll do some extra shopping at some point. Hey, Max Elixir. Nice. Alright, let's keep on going. Battle you in the tall, dark grass. Let's have a refreshing bla uh, blattle. Yeah, let I was about to say, let's have a refreshing blattle and bow away all my troubles. Alright. <laughs> we'll do just that. This is going to be a fairly simple start for my Ember. Could just use Hammer on. No, you know what? I'm just going to use Arm Frost. I... Okay, yeah, you're just going to waste your time using Amnesia. That's absolutely fine. Because that's just going to boost up your special defense, which is not going to help you against these kind of attacks. And of course, it only hits two times because, annoyingly, in my case, it always seem it it seems to favor only hitting the target twice even though it it is capable of hitting the target up to five times I think I think this game has something against me when I try to use arm thrust kind of stupid in a way anyway uh bravery okay so you're gonna be using very similar to Pokemon to uh, one of the other trainers I battled against when they sent out the um, the um, Lenoon and the Mandibus. What was the other Pokemon they used? I can't remember. Anyway, just use Discharge. Okay, you can use Sky Drop. Oh my. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. Um. Sure. I mean, this is totally legit. Unfortunately, it wasn't that strong because you are using it against an electric type Pokemon. So you know what? For trying to drop me from a great height. That's what you get, Bravery, and I'm really annoyed that you managed to survive that. Even more annoyingly, I bet you're going to be using that again. Okay, no, you're just going to use Superpower, that's fine, but... That's very rude of you to just... To just, you know... Pick up my Ampharos and just drop it from the sky. That's just really, really rude, and... I'm going to show no mercy on you, Bravery. Hey, Seismitoad! Alright, okay, finally. And actually, it's a good job I decided to bring Sourcebook with me, because Sourcebook is going to be the perfect Pokémon to use against it. I mean, you did just learn... Solar Beam, but I think I could probably just use a Horn Leech. Let's just use Horn Leech. Easy. Oh, critical hit as well. Yeah. Nice. Feel like an unbeatable combination. Yeah, well, all my Pokemon work hard to try and get the best result, and indeed, that's what happens. I've been thinking lately, even if I were somehow separated from my Pokemon, would they choose me as their trainer again? Um, I'm sure Pokemon don't forget uh, their trainers uh, that quickly, unless, you know, that original trainers were just absolute scumbags, but um, yeah, I mean, if you've been treating your Pokemon well, I'm sure they'll remember you. Okay, grab this item. Ooh, a nugget. Excellent. Always like getting some free money. Anyway, let's see what other Pokemon live around here, because I've not really checked out much of this area, and okay, a level 63 Yamna. Alright. I have a feeling you might be quick, so it might be just easier just to battle you. So you know what? I'm just going to battle you just to not pointlessly lose too much health because, well, if you're going to be faster than me, it's 
probably going to be a bit of a pain in the arse to try and run away from you. And I'm not going to bother putting on a repel right now because I don't think there's much else to see around here thinking about it. Yeah, so we've got an item down here, an HP up, and yeah, I think this is all there is. Yeah, I think this is it. Alright, well that's fine. That's absolutely fine by me. Okay. So, unless I've missed a very random little area, I think we are done with this area. But you know what? Seeing as I'm done here quite a bit quicker than I thought, we might as well just see whether there's any other Pokemon around here that I've not yet encountered. Okay, so level 55 Yam yeah, there. I might be able to get away with running away from you. Also, that's quite the level difference, actually. There's level 55 in the lighter tall grass, and what was it, level 63 or something like that? In the taller grass? That's kind of crazy. Well, I might as well see what else live around here, and then I think I'll wrap up this episode. And I think what we're going to do next time is we're, we're going to uh, do a little bit of exploring around uh, Nakrain City, see what uh, changed there. Especially considering, obviously, the Pokemon Gym in Nakrain is presumably no longer a Pokemon Gym. Oh, now all of a sudden the Pokemon have gone really shy. Oh, there we go. Okay, just a Girder. Okay, so a couple of new Pokemon, but also I'm seeing some of the same Pokemon I've encountered in the past, so not really that great. Uh, let's try to let's just try the, the Dark Tall Grass again, just in case. Okay, a double encounter. Is this going to be anything good? Uh, two Palpitoads. All right. Yeah, level 64. That's quite the level difference, actually. There's a major level difference between, like, the light grass and the, the dark grass. So we can find Palpitoad, another Girder. Level 64, yeah. Wow. It's almost like a 10 level difference between the lighter grass and the darker grass. And you know what? I might as well battle you. Because, well, Embor is on the verge of leveling up, so I might as well do the right thing and help Embor level up. And you know what? We can just easily get away with using an arm thrust. Ah, oh, were you giving us a little wave there, uh, Gerda? <laughs> there we go. Level 69. That is very nice. And you know what? I think that's a good time for me to call it quits around here, so... There might be a few more random Pokemon to find around here. And there's a possibility I might have missed a random spot. Excuse me. Uh, 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 you are the most awkward person right now. I kind of don't want to walk through all of that grass. But if you're going to be awkward, then we're probably going to have some problems. Move to the side. I clearly saw you move to the side once before. Thank you. You're lucky I didn't encounter a Pokemon. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have had a rematch. Oh dear. These NPCs, they do love getting in the way sometimes. Oh. There is... Oh, wait a minute. I think I know where that item is. It's along the train tracks, isn't it? Yes, okay. It's along the train tracks. Yeah, all right. That's fine. Let's get that before I forget about it. There we go. It was just a PP up, but that's absolutely fine. Let's head to the Pokemon Center and wrap up this episode. Uh, and actually, thinking about it, uh, before I do the next episode. I think I'll do some uh, stocking up with some items as well as obviously heal my Pokemon and then we'll, uh, and then we'll start checking out Nakrain City, see what's changed, particularly uh, where the Pokemon Center, not the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon Gym used to be. Uh, but it was part of a museum so I'm guessing it just became more of a museum, just like an expansion of the museum I guess. But yeah, we'll see. I'll be curious to see uh, what's going on, especially with the former gym leader. But uh, that'll be next time. Uh, so on that note, thanks very much for watching everyone, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.